the reason I'm doing this course really is to inspire this next generation of construction managers, architects, engineers, even technologists who, who want to push the boundary. The BIM and or VDC position is not just set my model up and leave me alone. And I know that sounds kind of harsh. They really are uh, a critical part of, of the team, both during design and construction. And um, they bring value. I want um, you know people who are looking to get into this career to see that this is really an opportunity for us to explore a new profession. We all have our professional career tracks. Well, BIM VDC is blowing that engineering career track up. It really is that multidiscipline coordinator. And they really are a part of the team. They are a practitioner of design and construction. They help the team explore making design and construction decisions. They help the owner visualize what they're receiving. And really, as, as technology continues to grow, they're helping to facilitate additional value, additional services. My team is a multidisciplinary team. And I think the future is going to encapsulate people with programming skills, computer science engineers, um, data scientists. Um, we're we're going to be mashing together different types of technology to produce new things. That change is going to require people to really want to learn and not just settle for, this is how I've always done it. We're seeing that the computer is starting to do more of the manual lifting. So what do computers do really, really well? They chunk through data, they process things, but they need, they need information. They need to be told what to do. Within the last five years, additional technology has exploded. There's been this evolution of a data component um, and being able to visualize it, um, articulate it, define how much we need. Virtual design and construction is not just going to be about clash detection anymore. It's really going to be about how do we execute this work faster, using computing power to do it, making it accessible anywhere in the world in a cloud environment, and it's about finding the right people with the right skills to work on these projects and expand uh, what we're calling computational design. And, and the future is, is really wide open. The most important thing is being able to provide value to a project. And if we're providing value to the project, then we're gonna sell additional services. We're gonna do additional things and we're gonna be able to apply additional software, being able to either construct a team or grow your own personal skills to stay relevant is, you know, is, is, is part of this journey.